Hello, 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 and welcome to the Run Rouge Unit of the Reek. And today, we're taking a look at the CH-118SS-11 anti-tank helicopter. The SS-11 is a pretty interesting ATGM, as it's really one of the first ATGMs with sure major service. Developed by the French in the mid-50s, they would first be used in the Algerian war, fired from transport aircraft to kill Algerian insurgents inside of caves. And they've said, hey, this works well on aircraft, we could probably put this on other things. And so they'd start putting it on vehicles, and the French would also put it on a helicopter, making one of the first real attack helicopters with the Alcaret armed with SS-11 missiles. The missile acts quite a bit different from our modern interpretation of ATGMs, as it's an MCLOS, pretty much manually guided. Instead of a point-and-click, look-and-shoot style system with modern ATGMs, this one, you had to manually guide the missile to the target using a joystick. The missile would enter into service with the Canadian military in the mid-60s, mainly being put on the back of vehicles such as Traction and Run Freeze to act as a tank destroyer. The use of the SS-11 missile with Canadian helicopters is, from what I can gather, fanciful, as it never actually happened. They probably did some testing of it. I know the Canadians brought a couple QE gunships, from the Americans in the mid-60s, from their experience of the Vietnam War, and also the Americans were using SS-armed helicopters, Hueys, in Vietnam. So it's really not too much far of a stretch in a road war scenario for Canada to get a few. You know, Canada using these in a 90s war scenario is not ideal. In-game, the CH-118 SS-11 is a 35-point ATGM helicopter available to the Canadians. It is a single weapon. That weapon being the SS-11 missile, with six of his heat ATGMs available, with 2.4km range, 30% accuracy, 20% while moving, and a whopping 17 armor penetration power. It's a Huey, so you have no armor, 4 HP, small size, poor optics, a speed of 220km with poor self, decent autonomy, Pretty much no year restriction, as it's a very old vehicle, and really no type restriction either. But it is a prototype. They're in battle. Well, I think the question is, why in battle? Because you never see this unit. And why do you never see this unit being used? For good reason, it's crap. It's terrible. It's not good in any case whatsoever. So why are the hell are we covering it? Be real view. I don't really know. I was just browsing through the armory and saw this thing, and I remembered that CH-118 SS-11 existed. Because the SS-11 missile system is pretty interesting, as it's an earlier ATGM, and trying to use this very early ATGM in a, I say, more modern, well, 90s battlefield is just not going to work. I'm honestly impressed that it has 30% accuracy. Even the bad tow and hot missiles have a much better accuracy charge. And with helicopter ATGMs, accuracy is extremely important, as you usually have a very short window to shoot at enemy armored vehicles. So you want to make sure you get your hitch. And then even if you do get a hit in with this thing, you only have 17 AP. You're not going to do any damage to high priority heavy tanks. We also do have to give a quick shout out to the Dutch counterpart with the Alcuret. You know, we're covering the Canadian run because it's the OG crappy ATGM helicopter. They're both pretty much identical. Doesn't really matter. They're both crap regardless. I could see this unit being useful if it was cheaper as in 15, 20 points, it's honestly, it feels like that's its actual value. At the same time, extremely cheap helicopters may lead to some helicopter tactical outplay. So, we we'll probably want to try and avoid that. Overall, this is bad. Never take it. Don't even look. I mean, you're probably going to be just playing a NORAD deck. The only reason I could even think about taking it if you're just playing Street Canada. But even then, just, just don't take it. There's no need to. Let me know what you think about this vehicle in the comments below. You, probably a lot of you guys don't think about it often. I forgot it even existed, to be real with you. But yeah, that's the Canadian anti-tank Curie. This has been another Rangaroo Shooting of the Reek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And usual, please just take it easy.